Hello, hello! And welcome back as I get ready to slide this campaign home like Johnny Presnick whispering in your ear after a Goo Goo Dolls show. In Perfidious Beat plays XCOM War of the Chosen. Anybody else remember, remember slide? Just, just me? Second single off Dizzy Up the Girl? Anybody? No? It's just me, huh? I mean, yeah, I know the Goo Goo Dolls have one of the shittiest band names of all time, and yes, every time I hear those three words, all I can think of is a hard-used inflatable fuck toy, but still, I mean, you know, this guy's sold 12 million albums, man. 12 million! That, that's a lot. That's a lot. No? I, I mean, okay, fine. Be that way, and then I guess just next time somebody decides to make a Mad Grind movie, it's gonna have to go without a soundtrack. Nicolas Cage is just gonna have to be sad in silence after she gets run over by a bus or whatever the hell happened to her in that film. I kid, though. Nobody's nobody's making another Meg Ryan movie ever. Ever. Have you, have you seen Meg Ryan recently? I mean, I don't know what kind of surgery she had done to her face there, but I'm pretty sure the surgeon did it in a back alley with a potato peeler the whole time shouting the words, Why so serious? It's just... Ugh. What are we actually going to do? What we're actually going to do is begin sliding this campaign home, Codex Brain Coordinate style. Let's go get it done. There's going to be a bunch of chrysalids. Codex, Elite Shield Bear, Elite Trooper, Officer, Elite Purifier. Shouldn't there be a Gatekeeper on this mission? Because there's always a Gatekeeper here in Operation Sleeping Shriek. I mean, we've killed enough Gatekeepers at this point that we're not really concerned about them anymore, but... I just feel like it should be on the list. I mean, you were missed to not have it there. It's going to be one on the mission. Who's our team then? Well, let's. Everybody's fired first off. Everybody's fired. Also, I am going to sneeze very violently in a moment. Nope, maybe not. All right, my brain is now just like straight up. It's just straight up screwing at me. It's like, man, I really need to sneeze. And then I got paused, said, I'm going to sneeze, opened my mouth, and got ready to sneeze. And then no sneeze happened. What the hell, brain? You gotta, you can't fake a brother out on a sneeze. A sneeze is too violent and important a thing to be toying with my emotions like that. If I'm gonna sneeze, man, you gotta, you gotta let the sneeze happen. You don't wanna let a, you don't wanna keep those bottled up. You get a sneeze to back up and you blow your eyeballs out of your head. Sylvester Stallone, Taylor Swift. What else are we gonna do on this mission? I mean, well, it doesn't really matter. Kanye West is tired. What about Kim? You know what, Kim Kardashian? We don't, you know what? We don't need you. I'd like to bring you and I'd like to bring Reb Brown, but if you guys are too, you know, too good to come play with your friends, and so be it. We'll just take little Ava Perone. We'll take Steve Irwin. Who's your bond mate, Irwin? I'm assuming you have one. Jane Austen. Is Jane, I mean, Sporty Spice. You know what? Sporty's tired and we, oh, we overburdened her last episode and she got a negative cork out of it. Let's... Let's not dip into that well twice. If somebody's tired, let's leave them be for a moment. We could take uh, Abraham Lincoln and Lindsay Lohan on this one. I don't necessarily hate that. It feels a little ranger light. I'd really like a ranger and then maybe... You know what? Do we have a sharpshooter available? We do. Helen Keller. You'll do. Let's grab Helen Keller and then... I mean, Britney Spears is still going to be down for a while to handle that negative trait recovery, so let's grab Yuri. Yes, Yuri was late on the last mission anyway, Pete. I knew you would bring me along. Yuri is, uh, well, I mean, hashtag is Yuri gets it done, and Yuri has really been getting it done lately, Pete. What are you gonna, what are you, you can't, you can, I mean, performance is above reproach, Pete. It really is. You can't say a single negative thing about Yuri Novak. After you stopped getting me shot all of the time, Pete, I've really come along. I've blossomed nicely into a valuable and powerful member of this team. Don't pad your par, Yuri. There's no padding, except for the padding underneath this armor of mine with these fantastic 24, no, not even, 48, no, not even, 54 pack of abs of Yeti Novak. He have two full cases of abs plus bonus sixer. Yeti is working. Oh, somebody should be wearing the rage suit. Tay Tay, I think we'll let you go ahead and roll with this. Don't forget that rage suit, though. Somebody needs to be wearing that. And that's somebody... I was thinking Steve Irwin, but now that I'm thinking about it, no, Steve is the wrong choice. Steve, you're actually good. You've got exactly what we need. Ava Perone, you're also solid. Keller, I think, uh... 
Well, I mean, you can't see how ridiculous you look, so... This gives us an opportunity to test out the Dark Lance and Dark Claw. Let's eat that Plasma Grenade, and instead we're going to get you some of them sweet dragon rounds, because apparently my Venom rounds are busy. Who has Venom rounds? Probably Yuri. I think he used them last mission. All right, Rashi, Yuri, you're going to get the good shotgun then, and we're getting rid of that Frost Blaster. You're going to get the good shotgun, which is the one with the superior laser sight, superior expanded magazine. You take the katana. Ditch these Venom rounds in favor of Talon rounds, and also... We've only got one of these things, have so on meat helmet. Because you look like a berserker doesn't mean you can go... He finally achieved the like Austin people. Powers dream, Pete. Yeri have on meat helmet. Meat helmet. In the spring, we would make meat helmets. And now I have meat helmet. This is greatest day of my entire life. Greatest day. For Yeni Novak. Yeti have meat helmet. Space helmet is fantastic, Pete, but you know what is better than space helmet? Meat helmet. It's your heart out, Lady Gaga. Even when you were wearing meat dress, you did not have sweet 54 pack abs rocking behind it. Also, I'd like to say, Pete, you know, meat suit really brings out musculature underneath the uh, 54 pack. You can actually specifically see all 54 abdominal muscles rippling in their own individuality. This thing of beauty. Yeri has transcended physical form and become embodiment of Adonis. I am God, Pete. God of six. 54 pack. Meat helmet. I am total package. Okay, well, total package. Let's, uh... Yeah, yeah, come on. Let's just... You're, you're slowing my roll, Bradford. Let's go. It's fine, Bradford. We're just gonna go blow up the gate, and then we'll bring it back, and Shin and Tygen will destroy half of the Avenger, doing whatever stupid experiment they decide to try on it. I'll be annoyed. They'll make a mess. I'll force them to clean it up and ground them for two weeks, send them to the bed without supper, and things will just be back to normal. The target coordinates are just ahead. Move to investigate the site. Hostile presence is currently unknown, but expect the worst. Positions concealed. Speaking of concealment, Ava, no more tears, Perone. Champion of concealment. Let's go uh, figure out where we are and then also find the enemy. We do have chrysalids on the map, and they are concealed, so we should be maybe a little careful here. Wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have objected to having brought along maybe a few extra mimic beacons, just so we could have something to flush out. Send out those chrysalid punks. We're still concealed for now. Keller? We'd really like you to remain up high, but... We gotta find an enemy before we have anything for you to remain up high and do. So long over here. Let's, you know what? Let's take it like slow and steady here wins the race. Let's just go take it easy. We got no visible enemies. Let's not create a situation where we find any visible enemies. We'll just have everybody advance at the normal speed. And hello, Elite Lancer. Well, I was just saying I would like to have somebody who could go out there and find chrysalids for us, and it turns out, Elite Lancer, we found a winner. Up oh, there's one. Elite Lancer, you needed clear. someone, and you are that man. Covering now. And Tay Tay. Rolling. If we can get a little bit of damage on these chrysalids, we don't necessarily have to be super worried about them simply because of our preponderance of blade storm. When they run up on us, we're just going to chop them up anyway. But we don't have quite enough chutzpah to kill a chrysalid in one swing because of their point of armor. We got a burrow boy over here. Don't worry, the elite guy will handle burrow boy. That's going to be his whole job on the mission is to go out there and trigger the burrow. Which is good, because everything on the map has bur- Jesus Christ, how many burrowing chrysalids are there, though? Are you done? Good sweet God, enough burrow in there. Choke a mule. Well, elite guy. I mean, I actually feel a little bit bad about what I'm doing to you here, but I'm still going to do it. I'm glad you're along. And then the rest of the team, we just, we're going to take it easy. 
enemy sighted. Okay. I mean, those are regular enemies, though, so... Steve, I'd love to have you on Overwatch, but we, now that we know those guys are over there, we need you to move. Moving and out. a double move doesn't hurt Steve Irwin. He's still going to get his opportunity to Overwatch. Rest of the team? Moving out. Same paradigm. Cautious advances. Overwatch. Reposition. To get somebody into a situation or a position where they can get some shots on those guys, we will take shots. We really got to remember to build a proximity mine for our grenadiers so they can slip up on somebody, hit them with the proximity mine. We forgot to equip a heavy weapon for Steve I got so excited by the meat helmet that I forgot. Did I say Steve? I meant Yuri. I got so excited by Yuri's meat helmet that I forgot to give him an actual gun. This pod is trivial. In the extreme. We're still much, much more worried about chrysalids. And ideally, the chrysalids are going to come out and they're going to try and fight us on the same turn as those guys. And I don't say ideally, I mean it's ideal for the enemy, not ideal for us. It's just that's the way it's going to happen because it always happens that way. Chrysalid? More codexes. So we have found everything that isn't a chrysalid. Interesting. Well then, let's see if we can eradicate some of this stuff. On it. The problem is, if we try and fight while moving forward with all these chrysalids burrowed down, what we're going to wind up doing is triggering a bunch of the burrowing chrysalids as we go forward to try and kill these enemies, and we're going to wind up taking a bunch of shit are. damage we don't want to take. I don't, I don't like this plan at all. Or the fact that it's not really a plan, more of an occurrence. Helen Keller, we want you up. You know what? We want you up high. Go, go, go. Take advantage of your squad sight. Helen Keller has Double sight time. beyond sight. She's got magic vision powers like Daredevil. Move it out. Yes, well, you already have me down with you. Scanning. Magic powers are nice. You know what is nicer? Me down with Who are you even talking about? We saw these guys once with our Reaper. We know where they are for the rest of the mission. We're never going to forget where they are. I'm tempted to actually try and pop this pod and see if we can't pull them back towards us. We know where they are, so if we can get eyes on them, we can have Helen Keller just start cracking off rounds. There's double Kodak's action over there. We have shots from where we're at. We're going to lose concealment on everybody but Ava Perona, and when that happens, how many more guys are we going to activate? Like, Elite Lancer is going to activate several. So if we're going to activate that pod, that should actually be the pod that we kill. Yuri? Okay. Let's just kill that pod. We'll try and work them one at a time, and hopefully they will choose to... I'm going to say choose to come closer to us, but it doesn't look like that's going to be an option, because for whatever reason, Ellen Keller can't see them. Pete, you, I mean, you, you kind of know what the reason Helen Keller can't see the... You know the reason she can't see the enemy. You know. On the move. There's no whatever in this equation. You know why Helen Keller. Honestly, it's mocking her affliction at this point. Rolling. You've transcended the bounds of taste now. Now it's just me. Now you're just every time you do it now. Now you're just being a jerk. It was funny at first, but now, now you're just being an asshole. Trying to position ourselves so we can maybe get a little bit better shot. I'm assuming one of these guys is going to want to to us, and at some point, we're going to wind up taking some Overwatch we don't necessarily want to take. Or rather, we're going to wind up activating a pod we don't necessarily want to activate, so I'm just trying to get out in front of it, trying to preempt it. I'm on the move. No place for you to go now. If we could get a Claymore on a pod, that'd be... Oh, these guys are coming in to be Claymoreable. This is perfect. We're gonna claim more to shoot at him. That'll handle most of those. That'll handle most of that pod, and then we can mop up whatever the hell happens to be left or spring into us. These guys are coming over this direction. So, what's our best method for activating? These guys are sidling around. What's with the crab walking, ladies? How come you're all like foot over foot crab style? Also, how many fucking codexes are on this mission? Yeah, there is nowhere to hide because the whole map is codex. 
so Ava. I'll leave there. this here. And I think we probably just go ahead and detonate that with Ava Perone. Do we want to detonate that with Ava Perone? Because we could detonate it with literally anyone. And there's got to be a better choice for said detonation. Or we could just let them detonate it. Nah, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and just get, we got better options here. Sly, this won't even cost you an action and it kills basically this whole pod. Catch. Feed him the pineapple. Hey, you know, uh, actually, you peep, my favorite way to enjoy pineapple is, uh, I mean, I don't think it's gonna come as any surprise to anyone, but I like to, uh, sprinkle a little HGH on top of, uh, on top of that sweet, delicious, pulpy fruit. And, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's a taste sensation. One, it's great for the body, and it helps me heal, keeps me young, all of the things that you've come to expect from the miracle substance that is HGH. But uh, in addition to that, I mean, it's, uh, it's a powerful, uh, powerful taste sensation, too. I mean, it's, it's a real taste treat. So, we have a number of codexes that are in the area and active. Elite Lancer, you're not really going to be able to do much. Steve Irwin could go and spike a codex, but I think all that's going to get us... Never mind, he can go spike this Elite Shield Bearer who we can almost certainly have someone else kill. Specifically, Ava Perone. She has no chance to not kill him and no chance to be revealed when she does it, so let's just go ahead and have her mop him up. That's one problem solved. Yeah, I get two ability points from an ambush kill, and Ava Perone cannot be revealed. So, we got some Lightning Hands action. We could really soften up a codex. We do have the Dark Claw, so we can move and take a sniper rifle shot, but I still think we take the Lightning Hands here. It's just free damage. Seven. Codex is going to split. That gives us another target. Well, they have one part of the codex has gone extraordinarily far away. Can we still take shots at it? We can, and we can't miss it. I like that. Also, what I like is our ability to maybe frostbite a dude. 99% chance. Yeah, get frostbite. You're not going anywhere, chump. What if we face off? We hit basically the board. You know what? Yeah, go ahead and face off. This is a good this is a good turn for it. The Dark Claw does pretty savage damage. How many is that now? Uh quite a few. I do have cloned and gone farther away, which is vision. irritating. Do we have vision on any of the enemies? Just the elite trooper, huh? Well, Elite Trooper's 50-50 to take down a Codex. Steve Irwin, you can take one down with the combat protocol. Let's just go ahead and do that. We don't really need anything else out of Steve. These Codexes are almost certainly just going to come in and hit us with the you don't have any more ammo bombs anyway, so we're not super worried about it. I don't want to go rushing off into the Hori Nether to try and kill them because we know exactly how that's going to turn out. Stallone, you have a target? You do not. You could give Taylor Swift an extra action, though. You know what? If we are going to go at these guys, we can use it. All right, Elite Lancer. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do to you, but it has to be done. If somebody's got to eat some Kodaks here. Great job, by the way. Well, now that we know, we know that is safe. So, Taylor Swift can reap, and she goes kill, kill, and then stays over there on Overwatch. Anybody can come over here and kill this dude, and we could give Taylor Swift a bonus action if we wanted to. Or we could just have Yuri come and kill this other Codex. It will cost him his concealment, but... Why'd you freeze him then, Pete? Well, I mean, you know, I don't really have a good reason. It did keep him from splitting when we shot him with the face off. Speaking of Nicolas Cage, we went full face-off. Yeah. Of course you spotted me. You saw Magic Meat Helmet from far away and were insanely jealous. Immediately. Saw me running in here like, Is that man wearing a helmet made of meat? That is coolest thing I have ever seen. How come I don't have meat helmet? Moving out. I'm so jealous right now. So Taylor Swift is still concealed. We got a bonus action on Tay Tay. Let's go ahead and reap her here. You won't feel a thing! 
Well, I mean, I hope they feel a little something, Taylor. Specifically, I hope they feel your katana slicing through the little metal component in their head that they call a brain. So far, so good. Did you see that one? Yep, you got enough movement to get over here to this dude. You do. And I will take Taylor Swift over here for one very simple reason, and that reason is Taylor Swift has a kill, so she's untouchable. If a chrysalid comes at her, she'll get a shot at it. You're gonna teleport. No big deal. Alright, Stallone, we could give you a bonus action here. Yeah, I don't see any particularly compelling reason that I we have Tay Tay the bonus. Fear. Are you done? Good. Taylor, if you wouldn't mind. You're dead. Impressed yet? And we're still reaping. Oh man, come on. We can't quite get there. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, we can't quite get there, but you know what we can do? We do still have the Arashi on us, and it'll do guaranteed damage even on a miss. Which Taylor Swift didn't. And she hair triggered, so you know what we can also do? Be on Overwatch. God, Taylor Swift is the crimson lipped goddess of death, destruction, and despair. No one can stop her. She killed five targets that turn. That was amazing, Taylor Swift. Moving out. Say what you want about Tay Tay. She puts on a show, man. She is a consummate show. Elite officer, I'm gonna say no. Let's reload. And since we are revealed, let's try and set up a little Overwatch trap. Actually, Helen Keller could. She could work a brother over from here. She could kill that guy, in theory. And he has 12 health, so she's only maybe a little bit better than half 50 50 to kill him, but still. Finally. It's pretty good. Gary, bring that meat helmet, that That's shiny, plummeted. shiny meat helmet of yours over here. I think we let the enemy come to us on this one. I don't I don't see any particularly compelling reason to go forward. Besides, if we are going forward into the unknown, we want that to be Elite Trooper doing that so that he can absorb any potential Overwatch. Absolutely. Speaking of Overwatch. Come get some. Good to go. Taylor's gonna reload, drop her into Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Keller, you know what? Just overwatch where you're at, it's fine. Alone, overwatch. These guys will definitely patrol forward us, because the enemy's not supposed to know where we are, but they always do anyway. I know I know that's mechanically how it works, and also that that's been disclosed, that the developers have said specifically, we intended for it to work this way. I'm just saying, you know, that they shouldn't have intended this. If they know it's an issue and they mentioned it, what they should have done is just been like, yeah, they, let's fix it so that the enemy doesn't know where you're at, even when you're not supposed to. Also, I think this pod may wind up just completely destroyed. The purifier is probably the only one who's gonna live. How many is that now? It's, it's one. Uh, they still got some boys on the table. That's all right. We'll fix their little red wagon. Yeah, you know when it comes to uh, fixing wagons, JP. Sylvester Stallone knows a thing or two about wagoneering. Heads down! For instance, watch me uh, go ahead and salvo these guys into the turret. There we go. And uh, that cover has been destroyed. One of them has been slain, and that purifier is now standing in the open, waiting to die. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, finish fixing his little red wagon. And Sylvester Stallone's wagon repair business is up and running. I'm branching out all over, Pete. It's, uh, it's just the way a good entrepreneur works. When you see an opportunity, be like, you know, there's a lot of wagons out there, and uh, nobody fixing wagons anymore, because by and large, they're an outdated mode of transportation. Seems like a missed opportunity for Sylvester Stallone, and a chance for me to, you know, maybe uh, endorse a particular product, put oh, my name what? on it, and suddenly people just can't get enough of Sylvester Stallone's custom it's wagon. Really probably get my own show on, like, I'm TLC, or uh, one of those things. Uh, Sort of like pimp my wagon, except you know, with more repair oriented sort of thing. Let's overwatch with David Perone, because again, we really want Elite Trooper taking all of the risks here. Let's move already. We'll have Helen Keller step over here. It's killing time. 
Yuri, bring that magic meat helmet of yours up here next to Ava Throne. You're not gonna get Overwatch, but we don't really care. I'm on it. Some long watch Overwatch for our girl. All right, Elite Trooper. There's a billion burrowing chrysalids, and it's your job to go find them. You know, the smart thing to have done on this mission would have been to just bring some battle scanners. All right, well, Elite Trooper did his job, though. Boy, did he do his job. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's nice. One missed. All right, Elite Trooper, don't don't sweat it just yet. We got you covered here. First things first, our boy Steve's going to hit you with the gremlin heal. Give him a heal. Get rid of that chrysalid poison. Get you all patched up. And yeah, no thing or two about getting unexpectedly stung, Pete. Never, you know, it's never a good thing when uh, a critter comes up there and catches you by surprise like that. It's a problematic time for anybody, really. And, uh, if anybody would know, Steve Allen is that sorry. So, Helen Dead Eye Keller, let's just have you just take a shot here. <laughs> Helen Keller puts herself at no oh, risk doing holding. it. And, oh, we hair triggered, so let's hurt the other one then. That's a straight up kill for Helen Keller? Yeah, that guy she just straight up murdered. Can we death from above and kill him again? Yep, all right. Oh, there's the Dark Claw doing some work. You can't handle Helen Keller, but what you can do is reload with your bonus action from Death from Above. Helen Keller is now the world's... Well, I mean, she was always the world's greatest. Scanning. Now she's just making it look easy. Elite Lancer? I'm tempted to have Elite Lancer try and go find more crystals. That just seems mean. We already did it to him once. I mean, all right, Steve, we're going to move up here. All right, now, talking about me. Helen Keller, we need you to kill him. Well, the combination fire between Helen Keller and Elite Lancer actually got the job done. Kept Steve Irwin safe. Also, Helen Keller, you're amazing. Tay-Tay, just bring you up here. Man. Seems doable. Ava Peron. Vulk says I am to obey. And Sylvester. 10-4. Mr. Meat Helmet, let's just bring you out here and we're going to put you Position on the Position confirmed. Yeah, I've killed one Codex on mission, Pete. I was Dang. honestly expecting to get a little more oh, action, a little more fun, a little more utility out of an amazing outfit like Meat Helmet. Anyway, send the Elite Lancer out there and make him do his job again. Hey, Elite Lancer, you want to go uh, find more chrysalids? Because like nine of them burrowed into dirt last turn. And uh, we don't get to see any of them. Also, where's the damn gate? It's like up this way. We've still got a ways to go in the whole finding the gate department. All right, Elite Lancer. The rest of the team just move up to... Elite Lancer is the bravest soldier in the X-Count project. The rest of our whole team is just keeping Elite Lancer covered. That's their whole job. They're like, we're only here to cover that guy. Will do. He takes the risk. He does the dirty. He's the, he's the, you know, when the chips are down and everything's on the line, who do we send in? Elite Lancer. There's a reason he has the word elite in his name. I really feel like he should be spelling it E1337 Lancer. Too much to ask. A little too spot on, maybe a little too on the nose. I mean, Elite Lancer? He's elite. elite. Okay, you guys got it, probably, I'm sure. Or chrysalids. Yep. All right, elite answer. Well, uh, take it to the face. Or dodge, because you're light on your feet. Elite Lancer is 60% to hit with his weapon, 70% to hit with his stun lance. Critical. Elite Lancer doing work. Hey, Deadeye. Uh, you know, we could have Helen Keller get a kill here, but I'd actually just rather have Roger Helen that. Keller get closer to the action. We got plenty of other people who can handle Let's this job. Already. Moving to position. Steve, you know what? You still sure need thing. experience. Let's have you kill this man. And bag the crystal to you and more, die, Pete. It's just one more for the pile there. 
old Steve bringing home the specimen. No problem, boss. Put him in me Z. Menagerie. I'm not really sure what my enterprise should properly be able for you. I mean, basically, it's just a zoo, but. I see everything. Rock and roll. Still on the reload. Three still has all his bullets, so we can just Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. And then we'll just wait. Anything else? No? All right. Well, I mean, we're making steady progress here, and looking at the old clock, I feel like maybe we uh, put a little slice in here. We got a bit more mission to go. And uh, we'll pick that one up next time. Elite Lancer is out here doing all of the heavy lifting. I feel pretty good about the way the mission's gone so far. We still have the Gatekeeper and more Chrysalids. And we're going to be flinging Elite Lancer right into it. But, you know, I got a problem with Elite. When you spell your Elite Lancer and you spell it 313373, it's just... <sighs> I'm going to try and get you killed if I can. I really am. I'm not on the other team and can't kill you myself. I'm, I'm going to go everything I can to get you to be dead. But so far, Elite Lancer has proven to live up to the name. And that's the worst when he's boastful. But also, it's not a boast because his braggadocio is justified. It's the most frustrating. We'll be frustrated again next episode. If you enjoyed this one, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to see the culmination of Elite Lancer, XCOM's greatest unknown trooper, might consider subscribing as well. New episodes of XCOM every single day. Right now, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.